Hi everyone, welcome back to Close to the Sun. So, I've adjusted my audio level because I don't know why this game is so quiet and si silent on the recording. But, I fixed it a little bit, we'll see how it goes. Now this section, because I have a feeling, I recall this section. They are unaware of our presence. Okay. Don't think I need to know all that. I stand corrected. I might need to. <laughs> the fact is giving so much. Wrong button. A coded message containing strange symbols. Uh, to Steve Joe's Technology Laboratory. To Alad Tugne Tugnier. Steve, I've got some partial and complete deciphers. Something big is about to go down. Edison has active agents here. I'm keeping the clean copies in my safe. Meet me as soon as you get here. Uh, get this. Notify MT, Mr. T. I think he will want to see this. Hmm. Someone has been deciphering the Edison spy code. Did Tesla know he had saboteurs on board? Probably. I'd be willing to bet it. Some kind of death ray that I think they were talking about. Probably different ways they can mount it. Earthquake machine. anything of any use in there. Wrong way. Ooh. Oh yeah. Lightning energy harvesting machine. Oh. I'm guessing that blue haze is the reason for the quarantine? Exo, or whatever they call it. access can't go there all right Okay. Run. Right. 
Right, left, right, left, right, go right. Okay. Run, run. Okay, right, uh, left. Sorry, straight. Oh, I should have gone left. Okay. Okay. the door. Well, they aren't exactly subtle. Wherever exotic energy goes, they follow. Not that hard to track if you know what you're doing. <laughs> That's three times I owe you. Thanks, mother. So, do you know where the is your sister's track? Yeah. She's in the surgery room. Am I close? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm hoping Say hi to your sister. The path should be open. I will, Aubrey. Thank you again. I don't know why it's so quiet. Hmm. Carefully continue towards the surgery room in the bio labs. Okay. Do anything with that one. Yeah, that chase scene I remember being a little difficult the first time around. Um, but that wasn't too bad. But the scene that I'm talking about is still coming up. I think it's probably the very next scene, too. Strange chair, I have to go around. Uh, tube message. Margaret in the biology department to Anne in the physics department. Maggie, as I've already told you, just because I work in the psych department does it, or the phys department doesn't mean I understand the methods of lead researcher Archer. Yes, I get that we all would like to conquer new scientific territory as fast as she has, but there's really no one aboard the ship that even comes close to matching her drive. Her mathematical work alone is creating infinite time loops by exploiting dimensional resonance is, is revolutionary and that doesn't even touch your engineering input in building the core generator. Honestly, if you're so eager to learn her methods, just buy her lunch or something. I hear she's actually quite nice. Hmm. Apparatus for aerial transportation. <clears throat> Can't go that way. Oh, 
All right, we'll just leave Harvey chilling in that room. Animal experimentation, weather control, time manipulation. Is there any research they didn't do here? Pretty much. Kinetic rain device. You know, and probably a lot of their inventions would actually be pretty good for mankind. Uh, it's just they should have spread the people out instead of putting them all in one place. Come on. Uh, fucking thing. Hey, language. Rose. Oh my god. My big sister is here. My big sister is here. Yes, <laughs> she is. And we, dear sister, are getting out of here. Come on, how do I get to you? There's a door on your right, short corridor, stairwell, you can't miss it. I will be right down. Uh, Ada? Uh, I didn't do anything. Ada! Get out! Get out now! I, I... I can't. Rose... I... I can't! Rose, listen to me. It's okay. Really, it's okay. You're here for me. I will love you forever for that. But I need you to do one thing. Get my research, Rose. Save it. Go to the theater and get the second notebook. Together they hold the keys to everything. You can fix <laughs> this. Promise me, Rose. Promise me. Not like this. <laughs> Promise me, Rose. No! Ada! Wow. No. I I promise. You actually got to see her die. The Helios ITS, or internal tube system, allows departments from all corners to communicate effectively without having to navigate its size. A pneumatically sealed tube, or a sealed system, blah blah. Yep. So I've not figured out the zoom command. I've not been using that. Chapter 5, The Darkness of Hades. She's gone, Aubrey. And it was too late. But she's gone. I know, I know. But you made a promise, Rose. Scouts honor and everything. If you don't leave now, they will get you too. Promise. Come on. Get up and get out. The left side door. Go. Yeah, get up. Oh, I was trying to go right. I need to go left. Good. Continue towards the physics department. Once you've gotten me out of here... I'm not going to the engine halls, Aubrey. But... but you said... you promised. I know, Aubrey. I, I know. And I will stay true to my word. But my sister asked me to do one last thing for her. I have to do this first, Aubrey. Family first. The theater. How do I get there? Get that physics department door open while I work out how to get you to the theater. I'll be right back.
Uh, can I touch this? Can't do that. Heliophysics Department. Expanding into new sectors. Our expansion into the sectors previously occupied by the Weather Department is taking longer than expected. This means that we henceforth, ha henceforth have to be very economical with how we install our existing equipment. I am aware that the Weather Department is taking their sweet time to pack up, but I remind you all to be patient, patient and grateful during this process as we will require their assistance later this year with power distribution. New equipment shipments will be arriving within the week, and since we are all still in transition, storage will become an issue. My office is always open, so if you have any solution, questions, any suggestions or solutions, please come by and share, with, share your proposal. That was Archer. Okay. There we go. Oh, I'm so on edge. Okay, I think I've got a solution, Rose. You there? Yeah, I'm here. Something is burning, though. Oh, yeah. That would be the reactor core. This is ground zero where it all began. It turns out the fire we lit just kept on burning. It's been consuming the Helios from within for days. Don't breathe the fumes. Highly inadvisable. Easier said than done. <coughs> yeah. You had a way for me to get to the theater? I do, but you're not going to like it. Come on. <laughs> Hit me. <coughs> see where all the smoke and fire is coming from? Well, we're going to walk you straight through the middle of it. <coughs> I hate this place. It gets worse. The reactor core is shielded, so the receiver won't work once you're down there. You'll have to traverse the flames on your own. I'm going to monitor the exotic energy spread behind you, see if I can contain it. I'll talk to you on the other side. Fantastic. Okay. Any last minute advice? Don't burn up. So helpful. All right, Helios Physics Department, Weather Department incident. It has come to my attention that an altercation between members of the Physics Department and the Weather, weather Department occurred yesterday evening, Tuesday. I'm also told that all injuries appear to be minor. I do not know what shames me more, the fact that the members of my own department would stop to vi would stoop to violence when challenged, or the fact that none of you appear to even know how to throw a proper punch. <laughs> Make no mistake about, mistake about it, it was the first and last altercation that will take place aboard the Helios under my watch as lead researcher. I will personally throw the next wannabe tough guy or girl into the Atlantic myself, do not test me. The personnel involved in yesterday's scuffle will be given dis disciplinary tasks, so the rest of you, you know who, you know how to behave, can expect the toilets to be sparkling the next three weeks. Uh, <clears throat> nice. Okay. All right, core memo. As, as is stipulated under Rule 38C, Paragraph 2 of the new Physics Department's regulations, the weekly code for core access has been changed. It is now 11, 22, and 3.
I was about to say I'm a little turned around. I don't know which way to go. I guess just up. Okay. Perfect. Do I go down? Oh, it's gotta be down. Hopefully, or I just died. Oh, that was a wrong, wrong decision. Okay. <laughs> uh. Quick, you can make that. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Through the flames. <laughs> oh, oh, I just died. I thought maybe it was a time thing, but maybe not. Okay. Okay, I can't go that way, so I have to go this way. So it is a time thing. I was just too slow. Oh, come on. is here, Rose. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Core construction. I am pleased to announce that thanks to your hard work and dedication, we are now back on schedule. I know it has been a rough month, but the la latest core inspection showed all active systems to be performing nominally and contamination within acceptable limits. I know you are all excited as me to get this beast up and running, but we still have a bunch of diagnostics to run before we can truly put her to the test. Until then, I've set aside a small piece of our budget for an open bar night this coming Thursday. Just show your physics department's badge at your favorite bar, 
and you'll have free drinks until midnight. Enjoy yourself, you've earned it. But don't overdo it. I still expect you up and ready Friday, Friday morning. We've got a lot of work to do, but your diligence is paying off. Yeah, if you're going to have people do a bunch of drinking, you should at least have the next day off. I cannot really do the whole drinking and then going to work the very next day. Royal visit scheduled aboard the Helios. A series of seemingly independent purchases of bulk copper is traced through shell companies back to Wardenclyffe. Industry-wide copper shortage after Winecliffe or Wardenclyffe coup. Okay. Run. Run when in danger. Okay, come on. They really should have some music or something playing during the loading screen. Chapter 6, The Drama of Di Dionysus. Or Dionysus. Any idea where this notebook might be hidden? It's a fairly large theater, you know. Afraid not. But how big can it be, really? You would be surprised. Oh. That's just the lobby. Wait until you see the auditorium. I leave you to search while I resolve some issues with the weather tech devices. I'll uh, check in with you later, all right? Sure. This might take a while. Loose pages. Nikola Tessa leads Wardenclyffe to record profits. The audacious inventor expands his company to take, to take on new industries. Claims to be annoyed by ever-changing and increasingly invasive regulations. Yeah, well this is what happens when you have no regulations. They just do whatever they want and screw everyone else, unfortunately. Oh, come on. See, I don't know what this little hop thing is she does. I mean, she can't actually jump over anything. In the future, we will correct the past. Just keep your promise. And it's that symbol at the bottom of the page that we keep seeing a uh, in green, spray painted all, all over the place. I am terribly sorry that Tower of Graves demanded my attention far longer than I anticipated. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all, sir. I'm still learning how to best get around here on the Heliums. So many floors, so much to see. Quite so, but I have saved the best for last years, the Helios Grand Theater. Shall we? By all means. By all means. By all means. Well, we're going in. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so beautiful. And I love the blue. And then that ceiling. 
Oh, that is amazing. This, Miss Archer, is the Helios Grand. Helios Grand. Wow. I'm glad you like it. We have a wonderful line of performances this year. And if you look closely, up there, that is your private balcony from where you'll be able to watch them all. The balcony used to be my own, but I insist you take it as a welcome aboard gift and as a token of my appreciation for your research. What? I don't... I don't know what to say, sir. Oh, it is the least I can do, and please, call me Nicole. Thank you. But what will people say? Won't people gossip? Me, sitting in your balcony? It's not mine, not anymore. And people will always gossip. It interests me little. Come now, let me show you the view. Of course. Balcony. Yeah. Would you hide your research there, Ada? Such an honor to perform aboard the Helios. Ludovica? Hmm. Always yeah. wanted to see her perform. Yeah, it looks like Ada was like the top researcher on the ship. Nicholas' favorite. Okay, I have to go in here, surely. Now I'm gonna screw it across this. Come on, quicker. A beam of that size would have been far heavier and far more destructive than what that did. From there, it was merely a matter of building it. But enough about me. What about you, Ada? What about your family? You have a sister, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Rose. Rose Archer. And if you think I'm stubborn, wait till you meet my sister. <laughs> what does she do? She's a journalist. Is that so? Is she any good? The best. Mm. Should not have said that to him. September 2nd. Dear Diary, today Michael mixed up our beer bottles and I drank from mine. Today Michael mixed up our beer bottles and I drank from mine. I told him about the mistake and we laughed about it. If he does it again, I'll stomp on his throat until his windpipe is clogged. He's a good guy though, he smells nice like lavender and fish. Oh, he drank from yours. Okay. I was so confused by that paragraph. I don't know why that just did not make any sense to me. No! How did you walk off that? Oh my gosh. I was just pressing forward. And she's doing this weird slow motion type thing. And it's hard to tell if she's sitter or not. Easy. Easy. Oh my god. Okay. Huh. Ah, here we are. I do hope it will provide you with much joy while aboard the Helios. It's wonderful. I really cannot thank you enough. Nonsense, my dear. Just continue to pursue your theories. That will be gratitude plenty. I, I, I truly believe you are on to something revolutionary, Ada. It's just missing that final spark. I hope the Helios will provide the resources required for us to find it. Because when we do, we will have changed the world forever. To changing the world. To changing the world. To changing the world. Hmm. 
Not here. Hmm. I don't recall it being in the balcony, be to be honest. Not here. Thought it was up on stage, to be honest, but I may be wrong about that. Oh, come on. There's, there's, there's a secret room in my room. You find it while I make my way through another laboratory department. I'll give you a clue. It's center stage. Th that's it. You're just going uh, to leave me to figure this out on my own? Have fun. Center stage. Holy yep. shit. Ada, I hear you. Now she's starting to go crazy. Now she's starting to hear voices. Of Ada. Or how the radio played our conversation from the past. But it's like she's still here. I think the and same thing has happened to Aubrey. It seems like she was exposed to that eco leak or exo leak. Uh, maybe it affected your brain in some way. Where you start to have auditory and mainly auditory hallucinations. All right, center stage. How do I get up there? To the lovely Lucy aboard the Helios, in gratitude, Fabier. Fabrier. Okay. So if I was super secret research, where would I hide? That looks like a oh. Slides over. I was about to say, how is she going to lift that heavy ass door? It seems like a crappy place to hide it. Oh no. <laughs> Ooh, Do you remember me, Rose? Do you remember what you did? Oh no! I got hung up. This is all your oh. uh. Where did he go? Just keep running. It don't really matter at this point. Okay. Okay, come on. I wish the character could actually crouch and just kind of automatically go in there. When you get close to it. But instead you gotta click and you gotta get it just right. Ah! <laughs> 
Just keep running. Oh, did I go the wrong way? Oh my gosh, no! That sucks. I guess I should have gone towards the green light. Okay, go this way. Good or by not? Oh, he's on fire. Sweet. You deserve that. I got the notebook. And then I ran into Ludwig. Oh no. Are you okay? I'm fine, Aubrey, and thankfully Ludwig took a face full of fire, so that's one problem less. But we didn't see him wow. die. One piece of great news after another. What's next? The bad news? I'm lost. I, I think there's an elevator here, but I can't really tell. It's too dark. Aha! Not a problem. Pay attention to the lights around you, and let me know when they start blinking. All right? Sure. Yeah, the problem is the little serial killer. We did not see him die. So I have a feeling he is going to come back. Anything yet? No. Nothing. Wait! Now! Aubrey! Now! Oh! That's deck 66. Next order of business, getting you that elevator. Fantastic, Aubrey. Thank you again for everything. I'm coming to make good on my promise. You have no idea how good that sounds. Uh, wait, let me get the doors. It's a mistake. It's a big mistake. Oh, God damn it! What's wrong? There's... Ugh, gross. There's the body of a man crucified against the elevator wall. Is there a different elevator you can send up? I'd rather not. It's... it's the only one. It's the only one, Rose. I hate this place. I hate this place so much. Yeah. One leaf in. Yeah, just breathe. One calm down. Out. You're gonna need Thanks the calm for, for later. This, Rose. Yeah. Just keep my back to whatever happened. Now on to our next chapter. Chapter 7? Are we on 7? Yep, chapter 7. The Strife of Eris. Or Ares? I have a confession to make. Oh? I told you that I had a family. But I don't. It was a lie. I'm a liar, Rose. I'm sorry. That's okay, Aubrey. Glad to hear it. Because I'm afraid you've got a bit of work to do before you can get to my end of the engine halls. But of course I do. What a surprise. Where do I go? 
Make your way to the local engine hall. You'll have to find a way to the other side of it. Yes! The power coupling, Spenny! Hey, Rose. I gotta sort this out. I'll be back in the jiffy. Just don't... Don't what? Aubrey. Don't die? Aubrey! Hmm? Great. I mean, that's really all you gotta do is not die. Very center of the ship. I'm a very bottom level. Right, is that the way I need to go? I don't really know. Let's go up here real quick. See what's up there. Aubrey, can you do something about the power coming and going? I thought you had that area covered. Uh, there's a bit of a hiccup with this, uh, with a large electromagnetic distribution coil. It seems to be pulsating. Yeah, that means nothing to me, Aubrey. Speak plainly. Uh, Rosie, we are harvesting electricity from time itself. This shit is complicated, okay? You just find a way forward and... Don't die. Ah, great plan, Aubrey. Your best work yet. You hear that, Benny? Rose is giving me attitude. <laughs> I wonder if there was another way, like if there was two ways to go. And it really didn't matter which way. Okay. Don't know what that did. What was supposed to do. What does that do? What? Okay, so I think it's a time thing. Okay. Let's get this. Ah. <sighs> Okay, that did not do anything. Let's go down here.
Quickly, quickly. Ooh, I almost Rose, got electrocuted. You are there, Rose? Yeah, I'm still here, Aubrey. I made it across the engine hall. What now? Up ahead is hydraulics and pressure control. The distribution coil is boiling the storage tanks, so you're going to have to reduce the pressure in order to get the security doors to open. Find the pressure valves, Rose. Turning them should bring the pressure down. Okay. Find the valves to reduce pressure. Got it. Great, Rose. You're almost here. Okay. Talk to you in a bit. Oh, now I gotta figure out which... Which valves and where they're at. Maintenance report 2411. Wow, the way the people continue to disappoint me is truly astonishing. <laughs> boy, boy ever. The CAP transfer cables are not supposed to be connected to the current control system. Just because the cables fit doesn't mean they're supposed to connect there. The two systems operate on entirely different frequencies, meaning that all power readings were collected since the last inspection will be thrown out since the valves have been compromised. How the hell are we supposed to keep the Helios running effectively without you lot pissing away our chances to take accurate measurements? Mandatory system and cables review session. Tuesday at 9, we'll go for as long as needed until everyone has an intimate understanding of the required cable connections. Okay. I guess that worked. Did I miss one? a valve or a handle I mean a wheel oh no yeah she can't even hop over that Roll with the hit and run. Rescue will come. Okay, we are back at the beginning. for a, a wheel. Come on. I honestly don't know exactly what I'm doing. I thought we were just supposed to get the pressure down. 
Oh, right here. Okay, so where was that one? I don't think I've been up here yet. And it, Penny, and it. Aubrey? Years of... Aubrey! Can't do nothing with that one. There was another one over here ish. You did it, Rose. I see green all over my senses here. The security doors should be open. Just one more hurdle, and then we can get the hell out of this ship. All right, one more hurdle. What's up next? Well, you remember that malfunction in supersized electromagnetic distribution coil? It's... You know what? Some things just need to be seen. Come on through. Not sure where you're wanting me to go. I did not recall an exit. Oh, right here. Massive, gigantic things. a symbol again. Why is it over here? I don't know what that shaking was about. Okay. Nothing need to do here. Oh, I guess the ship is being tossed about. Supersized electromagnetic distribution coil. Ugh. I'm gonna call it. I forgot about this. You should be able to see me. I'm in the tall building to your right. See me in the window there, Rose. Oh, okay. Anyway, you see that building on fire in the distance? That's where you'll find the emergency deactivation switch. Wait, all the way over there? At the other end? Yep. You want me to sprint there while Electromag something or other regularly fries the entire place? Yep. <sighs> I've been thinking about this part. If it's all right with you, I'll open the door on the left and just hide in the corner for a while, okay? Of course. I, I wouldn't want you screaming in my ear anyway. Maintenance reports 2412. Inspedic inspection verdict. Extraordinary failed. Inspector notes, I've been told by Warden Cliff representatives that referring to the maintenance team as assholes is not in line with corporate leadership procedure. 
so I will henceforth refrain from using that term when describing the team. Instead, I will be referring to you lot as defective fuck-ups. <laughs> uh, since I swear it's like you guys are deliberately trying to piss me off, here's a sample of many things that the latest inspection uncovered. Burnt out fuse, melted safety pin, faulty high voltage cable. The full list of defects is nailed to the coffee machine in the cafeteria. I might have been s I might have slipped with the hammer when nailing the list to it. I may have slipped. Okay. So it appears you will all be performing this week's maintenance without your regular dose of coffee. You'll thank me later. Okay, yeah, I remember this section. I'd forgotten this whole section was in this game. But you basically got to run along all these platforms that you see down there. While avoiding those time pulses by hiding like in different rooms or corners. I don't remember being precisely that difficult, but still. Alright, I'm going to end the video here for today. We'll pick it up next time with that journey through the reactor. So, thanks for joining me, and I will see you next time.